Hey guys, Matt Bell here at the Electric Violin Shop. The most popular violin that we sell is the Yamaha YEV. And we get a ton of questions about this instrument because we sell so many of them. So I thought I'd do an FAQ. We'll do a frequently asked questions about this. We're just gonna rip through these questions real quick. So hopefully you're gonna find the answer to the question that you have. Right now we're listening to a song by Martha Mook that was performed all on a YEV and you'll be able to find the information about this song in the comments or in the description. There we go. So first, how do you pronounce it? Is it Yev? Is it YEV? How do you say it? I don't know. I just call it a YEV. We have people calling and call it a Yev. You want to call it a Yev? We'll know what you're talking about. If you want to call it a YEV, it's cool. What's it stand for? It actually stands for Yamaha Electric Violin. So there you go. That's where they got the name. Are they ready to play when you first get them? Well, if you buy them from us, they are. They actually come to us in a box from Yamaha with some assembly required. The bridge is laying down. The bridge is way too tall to play it. They actually stamp those bridges. And then we have a luthier hand shape the bridge to fit the instrument. And then we have a professional player test the violin here before it goes out. That's all free of charge. So if you buy from us, yes, it's ready to play. You buy somewhere else? Don't know. Is it a silent violin? Well, it turns out that the, the silent violin thing is a trademark by Yamaha. And it was really smart on their, on their hand because it makes it sound like the SV series are the only quiet violins that there are. It turns out pretty much every electric violin is close to silent and the YEV is no exception. So it's, it's about the same amount of sound when it's not plugged in as one of the Yamaha silent violins or pretty much any other solid body electric violin. Does it come with a case or a bow? No. At that price, you kidding? You're lucky to get a violin at that price. It's uh, no, it does not come with a case or a bow. It just comes in a cardboard box and we take it out our luthier puts the thing together for you, hand shapes that bridge. We'll put it right back in the box and then send it to you. Unless you want to buy a case for a bow and we can help you out with that too. Will it fit in a regular violin case? I've got my own violin. Will it fit in the case? Yes, it will. It'll fit in a regular violin case. Can I use my shoulder rest? Yes, the dimensions on the bottom of the YEV are exactly the same as the dimensions on your acoustic violin. Five strings, they have five strings. I thought violins had four strings. Uh, they do have a five string version and the five string version has a low C, which is the same note as a viola, but it is not a viola string. It's actually a violin C string. What strings does it come with? It comes with Zyx strings for the top four and then it's a helicore C string. But you can use any strings you want. If you have, if you like dominance, if you like uh, helichords, if you like, whatever. You can put any strings on there that you want and it'll work just fine. Do I need a special bow? You do not need a special bow. You can use any violin bow on this, though we do recommend having a bow for every instrument that you have. You get done playing one instrument with a bow and you put it away, and then you go grab your other instrument to go play somewhere. If the one bow you have is in the wrong case, you're going to be really mad when you get there. Will it work with a wireless? Yes, it will. Uh, we really like the, the uh, Line 6 G10 and G10S series wirelesses. Uh, they fit right up inside the violin in a really convenient place. Uh, can I plug in headphones? You cannot plug in headphones directly into the violin, but you can plug into a little headphone amp uh, and then you can practice that way. That little bendy part looks kind of fragile. I feel like that maybe that would break. It turns out it's really not that fragile. Um, they're made with the same technology that Yamaha uses for making drum shells. Um, and they've been doing this a long time, so they know what they're doing. Um, and it turns out it's a, it's like a five layer laminate and it's really, really good. Um, I think I've seen maybe two of them broken uh, in, in of the hundreds and hundreds that we've sent out of here. And one of them was actually like dropped from full height and it landed on that thing and it broke. Um, and I think the other one got backed over by a car. So they're really not that fragile. Is there a warranty? There is. It's a five-year warranty. Um, 
If you buy it from us, all that stuff goes through Yamaha USA. So if you're a non-US customer, you're gonna need to call us and all that stuff's gonna go through Yamaha USA. But honestly, like there's not that much to them. They don't, they don't tend to go bad. They don't. What is with the button on the back? There's a button on the back of this instrument and it's right here. What is the deal with that? Well, if the button is pushed, what it does is it bypasses this volume knob. You know, that's kind of a weird thing to do. It is kind of a weird thing to do, but it's pretty cool. Because if you push the button, then you've got full signal coming through and it bypasses this volume knob. You can then use this volume knob in a couple of different ways. You can put it at zero. So basically then the, the button becomes a mute button. So when you engage the volume knob, it's all the way off. So it basically becomes a mute button. Or you can set this to say like 80% or something. And when you push the button and the volume knobs engaged, that can be your regular sound. And then you bypass and now you've got a boost sound for taking a solo, All right? So it's, it's, a, it's kind of a strange thing. Not a lot of people do that, but it can have some pretty cool, some pretty cool uses. What does it weigh? Um, it weighs about what an acoustic violin weighs, but you'll actually find that it feels lighter in your hand because the weight distribution is more over your shoulder than what an acoustic violin is. Why does it overdrive my pedals? The Yamaha YEV is actually one of the loudest violins that we carry. So you've got that volume knob on the back. I would actually recommend, if, you, if you're having a problem with it overdriving your pedals, just back it off to about half volume. And that's gonna make it about as loud as your average electric violin. And it's probably not gonna overdrive your pedals. How do I make it sound fatter? That's a, that's a fairly common question. And, and a lot of people are like, yeah, I'm trying to boost my mids or whatever. I generally, I try to do subtractive EQ. So what I would do is I would cut the highs. So if you cut the highs on the instrument, remember it's gonna, if you cut the highs, it's gonna make the mids sound louder in comparison. And believe me, this violin is plenty loud enough already. You don't have to worry about having a, a weak signal or something if you're cutting highs. So I generally will cut the highs in this instrument a little bit. I might start around 1K if you're trying to do a sweep or something. You can cut from 1K on up. Just cut it down a little bit and you'll find that the result is that you have a fatter sound out of the violin. Can I change a chin rest? Yes, you can. You just have to use a center mount chin rest. So as long as the chin rest mounts in the center like this, you can use any chin rest that you want. Black and natural, are they the same? You've know, got this natural with the different colors of wood in it. Yes, it's the exact same instrument. It's just one of them has black paint on it and the other one just has this natural finish. So they're gonna sound exactly the same. So that's a rapid fire FAQ. Hope that's been helpful for you. Hope you enjoyed the Martha Mook song and uh, you can find the information on that song all recorded with a YEV and some nature sounds. You can find that in the description below.